Good evening. Welcome to Obscure Tales of the Strange and Supernatural. I'm your host, Melissa Angel, and tonight I will be sharing the tale of the Loveland Frogman of Ohio. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this obscure tale. The Loveland frogmen have been described as humanoid frogs. Walking bipedally, they were described as standing roughly 4 feet or 1.2 meters tall. The creatures are said to use sticks like tools. Some claim that those sticks had the ability to emit sparks much like a wand. The first report of the frogmen came in May of 1955, just on the outskirts of Loveland a small town in Ohio. At 3.30 a.m., an anonymous businessman reported witnessing three bipedal frog-like humanoids congregating by the side of the road. The man, in his curiosity, pulled his car to the side of the road to observe these creatures. The encounter, he estimated, lasted about three minutes. During this time, the witness noticed the creature stood, around four feet tall, were covered with leathery skin and had webbed hands and feet. He found their most distinguishing characteristics were their frog-like heads. He described their heads as having deep wrinkles where hair should have been. Starting to feel more disturbed by what he was witnessing, the man was just about to leave when one of the creatures lifted a wand above its head. As sparks spewed out of the end of the wand, the man sped off. The next report of the frogmen came nearly 17 years later on March 3, 1972. At about 1 o'clock a.m., a police officer, who also wished to remain anonymous, was heading towards Loveland driving slowly due to icy conditions when he noticed what looked like a dog on the side of the road. The animal suddenly darted in front of the oncoming cruiser, which caused the officer to slam on his brakes to avoid hitting the animal. As the cruiser came to a halt, its headlights fell upon the animal. The officer described a crouched, frog-like creature stand up on two legs. The creature stared at the police officer before scrambling over the guardrail and scurrying down the embankment into the Ohio River. The officer described the creature as being 4 feet tall and weighing about 50 to 75 pounds. He also described the creature as having leathery skin and that it resembled a frog or lizard. Another officer was sent to investigate the scene shortly after the incident. He saw no sign of the creature but did report seeing distinctive scratch marks on the guardrail where the creature was reported to cross. Two weeks later, another encounter with the creature was reported. Another police officer by the name of Mark Matthews was driving into Loveland when he spotted what he believed to be an injured animal lying on the pavement. Officer Matthews pulled over and climbed out of his cruiser, intending to remove the carcass from the icy road. Suddenly, the creature abruptly moved upwards into a crouched position. Startled by the frogman's reptilian appearance, Matthews shot at the creature. This caused the creature to hobble over to the side of the road and step over the guardrail. The wounded creature kept a watchful eye on Matthews as it made its escape over the guardrail. Officer Matthews' description of the frogman matched the first descriptions of the creatures down to the last detail, save for the tail, which was absent from the earlier reports. Years later, Officer Matthews would change his tail. He now claims that the creature in question was no more than a large reptile which escaped from its owner. Officer Matthews also insists that the only reason he shot at the creature was to help confirm a fellow officer's story, which was of course being met with skepticism by their superiors. 
It is believed that Officer Matthews changing his story was inspired by ridicule from others around him and the fading memory of an event that had taken place 30 years prior. Another report of the Frogman came in mid-August of 2016. Sam Jacobs and his girlfriend claimed to see the creature while playing Pokemon Go in Cincinnati. The location of the sighting cast doubt on its authenticity though. What do you think? Are the frogmen a hoax or could they be out there? Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. That concludes this week's obscure tales of the strange and supernatural. Be sure to join me next week as I share the tale of the Thetis Lake Monster. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell. I share new obscure tales of the strange and supernatural every Friday night.